More on the Zika virus. At the FESPAC planning committee today, stakeholders also discussed the information being disseminated to the public, particularly information sent out by the Guam Medical Association. Here's more. Meanwhile, the Guam Medical Association wants to be a part of the discussion. However, during the FESPAC organizational meeting today, there seemed to be some concern about the information being put out by the Guam Medical Association regarding the Zika virus. Is, can we get somebody like Tom Shea, uh, Dr. Rubio from the Medical Society, to just uh, have a little bit of patience until we get everybody trained up and we get the kids. I know that uh, Dr. Shea is, you know, kind of wanting it right away, but, you know, the kids ain't here. Um, there has to be proper protocol uh, to make sure that um, misleading information is not disseminated to the public because it's just going to create some, some sense of confusion, correct? It'll no matter for two hours. But Pete, our yes. challenge right now okay, is, is to avoid this scare bola same thing again. Yes. Uh, congenital anomaly. Okay, microcephaly, which is, you know, which is the thing that the OB champion is being concerned about. Yes, sir. And if we don't handle that well, it's going to be as messy as the OB. So when I say, you know, man, you know, I, I wish they would kind of be more inclusive than exclusive. Yeah. Because community doctors are the one that's going to be holding the fort. Um, because those are the patients that we see, the Guamanian population, mm -hmm. that we want to actually protect. We spoke with GMA president and obstetrician gynecologist Dr. Tom Shea and another OBGYN, Dr. Chris Beeling, to discuss the effects of the Zika virus on pregnant women. It can affect uh, any stage, but of course, uh, the earlier in the pregnancy or in the less the baby is already completely formed, the more severe the damage. Actually, uh, if you take that all the way uh, back, uh, the Zika virus actually already causes a lot of miscarriages early on. We just really hadn't uh, had an opportunity to study that. The scariest part I can tell you right now is that eight out of 10 will have no symptoms. And I think that's the scariest part about this particular virus. Dr. Beeling and Dr. Shea say the Guam Medical Association plans to bring out maternal fetal specialist Dr. Greg Hirata from Hawaii, who will have expert knowledge on how the Zika virus can affect unborn babies. But Public Health Director James Gillen questioned whether or not the expert would be necessary. Who the specialist is, is expert it is that he's going to bring in, because I don't know anybody more expert than the folks at CDC. Yes, but um, you know, I, I just don't, don't know who they <laughs> expert would be, maybe some academic that's just going to waste our time. We have Dr. Greg Hirata from the University of Hawaii, and he is a board-certified specialist in perinatology and in genetics, so he would be the best resource person I could think of uh, to get involved and get his advice. Festival director Rose Ramsey emphasized that she would like to work with community doctors and involve them in the Zika planning discussions.